Fair to say, no real drama in the final round of the Aramco Saudi Ladies International. Coming from Royal Greens Golf and Country Club, the destiny of who was going to win this trophy always seemed to be going towards Georgia Hall. Her closest challenger overnight, Anna Norquist, didn't make a single birdie in a round of 74. She finished in a share of six, three under. Round of the day, well, Kelly Whaley had a new Ladies European Tour record of eight birdies in a row in a course record equal in 63. She jumped from 41st to sixth on the leaderboard. Some effort that from the American playing outside of her homeland for the very first time. Emily Pedersen, the 2020 champion, closed with a round of 67 that saw her finish in fourth place. How about this finish from Johanna Gustafsson at 18? A putt that saw her into a share of second place at six under par. That share of second place good enough for her best finish on the Ladies European Tour, as it was for the player she finished alongside, Kristina Napoleova. Less than six years after taking up the game and in just her fourth Ladies European Tour event, Napoleova finishing in a second place finish alongside Gustafsson at minus six. Two fabulous stories. But in terms of who was going to win, well, never in doubt. Five shot lead overnight for Georgia Hall, the former Women's Open champion birdied four of her first six holes. There were a few wobbles along the way, but that birdie at 17 meant she had a five shot lead coming down the last a par five and a closing round of 71 meant it was a wire to wire victory. Georgia Hall winning her first standalone Ladies European Tour title. It really wasn't ever in doubt. A great start to the new year for the English player. Just two weeks prior to the first major of the season. An impressive week from Georgia Hall, winning from start to finish, a five-shot victory in the end at 11 under par.